if you want to be great, you want to be the best ever at what you do, you're going to be misunderstood by everybody because you're going to be so f- obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. That's the truth. It takes every second of your f- life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of f- people. It is. But if you want to f- go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, question everything you f- do, you, you've arrived. When you are misunderstood to the point where f- people think you're psycho and you're nuts and you're this and that, why are you in the f- gym at one o'clock in the f- morning? You just got to do an op for f- 13, 14 hours at the ranger school, man, at the gym. What is wrong? You will never understand what is wrong with me. And that's why I'm so f- glad you don't because I'm in the right spot. When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive where people are like, what the f- is wrong with this guy? I don't want to talk to you, man, because you're not going to get it. I think pushing yourself physically is the number one factor of life. That is the true spot where you can really dive deep into. Life's about self-discipline. It is about self-discipline. We tend to do the things that are easy. And that is the, it, it builds no mental toughness. It builds no mental hardening. It builds nothing. When you work out, working out is where you can build that the fastest. Because it's a constant, it gives you instant feedback. Instant, yeah, you may not lose the weight you want to real fast, but the discipline it takes, it transfers over to all aspects of your life. It's not people, man, why are you always working out? Stop looking at that way. This is the foundation of life. When you look in the mirror, every morning we all look in the mirror to get ready to go to work, to go anywhere. The first thing you see is your reflection. If you don't like what you see in the morning, you lost the war already. It's not about even liking what you see. It's about looking in the mirror and you may start, man, I feel different. That reflection is not everything. It's a feeling you're supposed to get. So you have to, in life, once you leave your house, the war begins. In your house, you have some control. And that reflection in that mirror, you have to control that reflection in the mirror. That's how you start your day. If you leave your house feeling like, okay, I can fight. I've established the mentality to fight. And that all that comes from working out. It's not just from, you know, you can't find that in the office. Well, my morning routine is every day I get up and run. Every single day. Because why? I hate that the most. You have to do something that sucks every day. Because why? Once you overcome the suck, oh, now you're powerful. You've overcome yourself already, so now you're ready to battle. And people wonder, why am I not achieving more? It's because once you, all of us, once we achieve something, we celebrate for a long years time. And we wonder, why don't I have drive anymore? Where's it all at? If you don't develop a routine of suffering, and suffering is not like go out and kill yourself every day, it's being uncomfortable. That keeps you hungry every day. If you live in your victories for so long and say, I'm gonna go challenge myself for 30 days or for two weeks or one this, run this one marathon, and it ends, I did one marathon. Okay, that's why it leaves you. It leaves you because you haven't set up the next obstacle. Obstacles is how you grow. You must continue to have friction. Friction is where growth is at. With no friction, there's no growth. You have to be on a constant reminder Almost like how you put a reminder on your phone, 15 minutes, you got this. That has to be in your brain. You've done too much. Stop. And what happens in life is that we start to see our lives become so successful. We're making money. We're doing this. We're doing that. I want more. I want more. I push harder. I'm all about pushing hard. Don't get me wrong. (laughs) Obviously. I'm all about it. But to push as hard as you can, you have to be mindful of the machine that's pushing it is going to end up dying. And then it takes years to get it back. So you lose that time. That time is gone. You know, I lost five years of, I could be crushing it. Where now I'm just now back to crushing it, realizing, God, man, I learned the hard way. That's really sometimes the only way to learn.